extraordinary life with true direction and purpose every day. Intentional Living with KLBK's Terry Furman. Sponsored by Sanders Funeral Home. You know, about one in eight adults in the Coastal Bend area suffer from diabetes. The rising cost of foods making it tougher for those with the condition to maintain that healthy lifestyle. But thanks to a food bank in that area, they're working to change that. How they're going about it in this week's Intentional Living. You can choose the day and time that's going to... It's just scary. It's a scary disease that that's out there. Eldia Lopez is taking the hands-on diabetes self-management class at the Coastal Bend Food Bank, along with her 12-year-old son. Thank you. <laughs> Today, they graduated from the program. What they learned will help Lopez live with type 2 diabetes. Um, I do have cut back, back on a lot of stuff that I used to purchase. I don't purchase anymore. Lopez is on a special meal plan that has her paying more attention to the food that she buys, and that can get expensive. Breads and fruit, they've gone up, so I've noticed that. Shelby Pena, a community registered dietitian at the Coastal Bend Food Bank, tells us more people with diabetes have asked for assistance. But the diabetes food pantry has been overwhelmed. On average, they serve about 120 people. Right now, there's about 300 of them registered. Pena says for most patients, maintaining a healthy lifestyle comes with that hefty price tag. You would probably be paying close to $200 or more. I'm not joking. Pena says eating well and living well with diabetes doesn't have to be expensive. Buying those ingredients, prepping everything, and then freezing it or refrigerating it, that's going to make it last and that's going to save you a lot of money. Terry, thank you.